Okay, so I've been asked by a few people to see the interior in the Land Rover that I bought and what its problems are. Its so main problem is it's got some rust along the top doors. And this here needs another bolt in it, but that's not really an issue. And then it's got some more rust up under here. And then it's got a bit in the passenger's door and that's all the rust that it's got in it it's got a bit of a rip in the seat and the roof leaks a little bit up there but that's only because it needs a new bog up there which I'll do when I get around to it and then in the interior is some switches so this is for my lights so that there is Parker lights and then normal lights. This here is for my interior lights, which I don't have hooked up because you get a flat battery too easy. Put some key on here. This here is for the window wipers. Um, temperature gauge doesn't work. Fuel gauge. Turn the key on. It goes up to. Slowly goes up to a quarter of a tank, and then it just stops. Actually, it's a bit under a quarter of a tank, but I know I've got more than a quarter of a tank because I just filled it up yesterday. And the other problem is that the other day, there you go, it's not actually a quarter of a tank, it's about an eighth of a tank. The other day, it ran out of petrol on me, and it said it had that much left. I was like, oh yeah, it's heaps. Then there's this thing here, this knob which sort of just turns the kilometre thing. So you just wind that back to zero. There you go. This is my oil pressure light and stuff, that's just because the key's on. And then this is the choke down there. And then it's got like a cold start light, which is the orange one. Starts up quite nice. Got a heater down here, which I'm not too sure if it works properly. I know that to turn it on, it's got a switch up here, which you pull out, and that turns the heat on. There's a switch here, which I don't know what it is. If you know, that'd be great. Appreciate. Then there's another switch up here that you can sort of just push. Then it goes back. I don't know what that there is either. It's got like vents, so you can like that, and you can open and close. And it just locks it in. It's just got bench seats, seat belts, and stuff in it. It's got some floor mats, and it's got a bit of carpet up here just to make it look a bit nicer. There's your warning stickers and your four drive stuff. And if you go back over here, it's got the um, positive and negative switches. Don't know what they're for. I guess it's positive and negative, or positive, black, and negative. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's got a uh, radio on it that, I don't know what's wrong with it. You turn it, and the light comes on. I don't know if you guys can see that light or not. And then nothing else happens. It's got a tape in it. I don't really know how it works. You just, you just turn the volume up and just, yeah, I don't know. But I've got some extra ones that came with it. Little seats fold down. Back, crank handle, first aid kit, uh, jack. And that's pretty much all i got down there. Um, also, since I've done my walk around, come came with a winch. It's just a little little one. So I've put that on the front of it. I haven't wired it up yet or anything. And this here the cupboard is also full of stuff that came with it. So my winch controller, there's a power inverter, there's a carburetor that's off a I think it's off a 
Toyota Hilux, 2000cc. Is that Land Rover Spears? And I think that's a starter motor. Then there's a, another, I guess it's cassette player radio. Then there's another cassette player radio, brand new. Never been used. It's just your average hoses. Another first aid kit, and it came with a couple of lights. Um, grease gun. That's pretty much it. And I've heard a few questions. It does need lead for the vills. So I just use Valve Master. Just get that from the petrol stations. No biggie.